Oh, okay. I wondered what was happening there. What the hell? <laughs> a large vibrating egg. Why oh, does it have to be large? What? Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> That's probably been up someone's ass. I just saw the nipples. This is Annie Hall. I know I'm supposed to know who Woody Allen is, but I don't. I think he's some big comedian, but I've never heard of him. I have heard of him, that's a lie. I haven't seen anything that he is in that I'm aware of. I'm a little bit concerned because I have seen that this may not be my type of humour. And you know, that did happen before with Dr. Strangelove, so I'm really hoping it's not going to be the same thing. I'll maybe get like five minutes in and I'll give up, so we'll see. You would think that humour is humour and everybody would find the same things funny but that is just absolutely not the case. I could be like doubled over absolutely in stitches, massive belly laughing at something and the person next to me is like what the hell that was not funny but I do find things funny that aren't supposed to be funny and a lot of jokes I don't even get I just find their facial expressions funny in the way that they're behaving. It's very much a visual for me. I don't think it matters what the words are. <laughs> so they're not giving anything away with the title of the movie. Annie Hall is obviously a woman's name. Well no that's not obvious because it could be anyone's name. It might even be the name of a hall. So once again, I don't know. I don't ever look at what the movie's about. Sometimes I'll check who's in it, but usually what I know is what I'm told in comments and stuff. Or if I've heard it, like, from before. But this is a movie that I didn't even know existed. If your name isn't Annie, then you have to subscribe. It's the law. Oh, now I'm discriminating against Annie. So if your name is Annie, then you have to subscribe. It's also the law. If there is a haul within 100 miles of where you live, then you have to like this video. That is, again, the law. And did you know that Patreon has started giving out free for everyone that joins. That may or may not be true, but there's only one way to find out. I know what this movie is going to be. It's going to be far too intelligent for me. And you were trying to put it in a nice way that it's not my humour, but it's going to be humour that I don't understand because I'm not clever enough. So wait, through this video, I'll just be sitting there with a glick at look on my face like this. Once I found a maggot inside a grape and I ate it anyway. Okay, here we go. Annie Hall. I keep going to say Annie Moon. Who's Annie Moon? Annie Hall. And play. No music, no. The other important joke for me is one that's uh, usually attributed to Groucho Marx, but I know Groucho. I know Groucho. Annie and I broke up, and I, I still can't get my mind. Annie. He's been depressed. Why are you depressed, Alvy? Tell Dr. Flicker. What? Flicker? <laughs> the universe is expanding. One day it will break apart, and that will be the end of everything. What is that your business? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I used to get my aggression out through those cars all the time. I used to do that too. You know, we had a saying, those who can't do, teach. And those who can't teach, teach Jim. Teach Jim. <laughs> In 1942, I had already discovered women. Oh. <laughs> That's the second time this month. Second time. <laughs> Step up here. What did I do? Being a little sex pest. <laughs> I was just expressing a healthy sexual curiosity. Six-year-old boys don't have girls on their mind. Oh, they do. Every Floyd speaks of a latency period. Well, I never had a latency period. I can't help it. You can't. I can't. I run a profitable dress company. Sometimes I wonder where my classmates are today. Oh, okay. I wonder what was happening there. I used to be a heroin addict. Now I'm a methadone addict. Oh dear. No luck for you. I'm into leather. I'm into leather? <laughs> what kind of leather? You were always out of step with the world. Even when you got famous, you still distrusted the world. There's nothing wrong with that. Did you eat yet or what? And Tom Christie said, no, Jew. Not did you, Jew eat? <laughs> yeah, he's paranoid. <laughs> Can I have your autograph for my girlfriend? Make it out to Ralph. Your girlfriend's name is Ralph? It's for my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. This is our face. I'll be singing. Ryan. I'm in a bad mood. Okay? Bad mood. I'm standing with the cast of The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why you have split up. I can't go in in the middle. We're only missing the titles. They're in Swedish. <laughs> Want to get coffee for two hours? Or two like... hours? No. Seems like an ass. I, I've got to see a picture exactly from the start to the finish, cause, cause I'm anal. He's anal. That's a polite word for what you are. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why they're not together. That he's not absolutely sure what it is he wants to say. La Strada was a great film. It's very awkward. He's screaming his opinions you, in my ear. Like... Yeah, I know. I don't like people like that. They're so loud. Tell him. Turn around and tell him. Indulgent, you know, you really say shut your face flaps. He's spitting on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm okay, my sexual problem. I never read that. That was that was uh, Henry James, right? Novel? You know the what sequel is? to Turn of the Screw? <laughs> nice save. What do you do when you get stuck on a movie line with a guy like this behind you? Why can't it's I give my maddening. opinion? This is a free country. Yeah, but quieter, please. I happen to teach a class at Columbia, so I think that my insights into Mr. McClure will have a great deal of validity. I don't know who Mr. McClure is. Come over here. Second. <laughs> oh, tell Hi. How you ever got to teach a course in anything is totally amazing. Boy, if life were only like this. Yeah, I know. Oh, I thought that heaps of times. Uh, not tonight, sore head. It's not natural. We're sleeping in a bed together. You know, it's been a long time. You need to give her more than that. Come on, kisses on the arm doesn't do anything. When we first started going out, we had sex constantly. We're, we're probably listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. Hardly. You've been married before. You know how things can get. You were very hot for Allison at first. Not first. <laughs> What's your name? Allison. Oh, it's Allison. Pochnik. Nice. <laughs> He's cute. What are you telling me? You work for Stevenson all the time? Is that Woody Allen then? I'm not essentially a political comedian at all. I, interestingly... Was that funny? A woman in the Eisenhower administration, ironic to me, because I was trying to do to her what Eisenhower's been doing to the country. <laughs> I got that. I got that one. I can't get it off my mind. For Oswald to have fired from two angles at once, if there was a second assassin... It's all a big lie. Everybody uh, on the Warren Commission is in on this conspiracy, right? Yeah, I like a good conspiracy. You're using this conspiracy theory as an excuse to avoid sex with me. Aww. She's right. Is she? Why did I turn off Alison Fortunate? Because it the old Groucho Marx joke? I just don't want to belong to any club that would have someone like me for a member. No, sometimes there's just not a connection. I like that he keeps bringing up Groucho Marx. Stop it! Don't, don't do that! Go to that one! There. What the hell? They're only baby ones, for God's sake! If they're only babies, then you pick them up! How did they get there in the first place? Give it to me! <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> <Not one. laughs> Talk to him! You speak shellfish! <laughs> shellfish. <laughs> I can't put it in the pot! I can't put a live thing in hot Let water! Yeah, you can. They're tasty. You always look pretty, but that guy with you... Acting is like an exploration of the soul. I like this. You know how I'd like to die? No, how? I'd like to get torn apart by wild animals. Lovely. Touch my heart with your foot. I may <laughs> Excuse me? Why are you so hostile? Because I want to watch the Knicks on television. Is that Paul Goodman? I don't know any of these names. Am I meant to? You are Here you are. He's a bugger. All those PhDs are in there discussing oh, modes of alienation and we'll be in here quietly humping. Quietly humping. <laughs> You're using sex to express hostility. Why do you always reduce my animal urges? Because she's probably true. There are people out there from the New Yorker magazine. What would they think? They wouldn't know. Just have a quickie. I need a Valium. My analyst says I should live in the country. And the country makes me nervous. Yeah, you just can't be together then. Where are you going? I'm, I'm going to take another in a series of cold showers. Mmm. So wait, you go finish. So to get back to what we're discussing. I thought that was Prince Harry for a second. The rest of the country looks upon New York like we're, we're left-wing communist Jewish homosexual pornographers. It's very specific. Hi. 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 No, look what she's wearing. Well, bye. <laughs> Is that it? You know, <laughs> speak to her. You play very well. Oh yeah, so do you. Oh God, what a what a dumb thing to say, right? So he didn't play well then. La di da, la di da, la la. <laughs> I don't understand what if you have a car why did you say do you have a car like you wanted a lift oh god this is hard to watch <laughs> <laughs> it's what a jerk yeah <laughs> <laughs> I do commercial sort of I feel like she's going way too fast. Driving a tad rapidly. Yeah. Do I drive? Uh, no, I got, a, I got a problem with driving. I knew it. I got a license, but I have too much hostility. Can I ask you, is this, is this a sandwich? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my car. Except you wouldn't know it was a sandwich. Where you uh, fall asleep in the middle of a sentence. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy, right, right. She's lovely. <laughs> Great yeah. story, though. Uh huh. Because I, ne I never shower in a public place. Because I, I don't like to get naked in front of another man, you know? Of course you don't. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs>
You never know what's gonna happen. Good sake. You know what Grammy Hall would call a real Jew? <clears throat> Thank you. Is that a compliment? The photography's interesting because you know it's a it's a new art Looks form. Looks like a, naked. A, a... Yeah, that's a good thing to wonder. To you, you mean whether it's a good photo or not? I'm not smart enough for this movie. Condition of the art form itself. <laughs> Well, yeah, he is pretty shallow. It's still, still, you need a set of aesthetic guidelines to put it in social perspective, I think. Oh, I wasn't listening to what they were saying. I was just reading it. I can't do both. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I have something. For, what about Saturday night? Nothing. Not, no, no. Oh, you, you're very popular, I can see. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a slap in the face. <laughs> it had to be you. Oh, she's a good singer. I wondered... <laughs> Maybe somewhere a bit quieter would have been better for you. I was awful. I'm so ashamed. I can't. No, it was good. Oh my god! I mean, they hated me. No, oh, they. They weren't paying attention. Give me a kiss. Oh. There's gonna be all that tension. You know, we never kissed before. So we'll kiss now. We'll get it over with. Then we'll go eat. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Well done, okay. you. So now we can digest our food. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a good idea. That was the most fun I've ever had without laughing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I'm not gonna believe this, but what? what? He's ready for round two. I'm gonna buy you these books, I think, because I, I think you should read them. Pretty serious stuff. I'm, I'm obsessed with death, I think. Obsessed with death. I have a very pessimistic view of life. You should know this about me. I noticed. I feel that life is is divided up into the horrible and the miserable. So when you go through life, you should be thankful that you're miserable. Look at be miserable, okay. Do, do, do you love me? That's a key I, question. I think that's sort of, that, yeah. Yeah. Aww. Do you love me? Love is uh, too weak a word for. Yeah. I, I love you. <laughs> I, I love you. No. Two X, yes. Someone once said lobe to me with a B. You're not going to give up your own apartment, are you? It's got bad plumbing and bugs. You, you say that like it's a negative. A negative thing? <laughs> You don't want me to live with you. Keep your apartment. Now, whose idea was it? Mine. It was yours, actually, but uh, <laughs> I approved it immediately. Approved it immediately. I guess you think that I talked you into something, huh? I think that is what's happening here. Because you keep your own apartment. It's like a, a, a free-floating life raft. It's a safety net. You don't think I'm smart enough to be serious about. Then why are you always pushing me to take those college courses? You meet a lot of interesting professors. You know, it's stimulating. Maybe for you. Does this sound like a good course, um, Modern American Poetry? Uh, no. Introduction to the novel. No. Hey, listen, wh what do you think? You think we should uh, go to that? Oh, here it goes with the arm kisses again. You get high every time we make love. Well, it relaxes me. Oh, you, you have to be artificially relaxed before we can... Artificially relax. Well, you try and relax her then, instead of winding up all the time. It's gonna be perfect, I just... A red light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Set in the mood. Is okay, something wrong? It's like you removed. Oh, no, I'm... Oh. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought she just died. <laughs> I thought she died and that was her, like, spirit coming out. <laughs> While you two are doing that, I think I'm going to do some drawing. Good idea. Oh, you have my body. <laughs> that's, that's how I want the whole thing. She's not in the mood. I was thrown out of NYU in my freshman year, cheating on my metaphysics final. Looked within the soul of the boy sitting next to me. <laughs> My mother, who's an emotionally high-strung woman, locked herself in the bathroom and took an overdose of mahjong tiles. You know? What? You were so college funny. Audiences are one and you know something? I think that I'm starting to get more of the references, too. I'm not. I'm glad you are, though. I'm really uh, looking forward to tomorrow. You'll meet mother and father. Yeah, I know. They hate me immediately. Yeah, I get the feeling that's true. <laughs> that's the worst meeting the family. Anne tells us that you've been seeing a psychiatrist for 15 years. Why would you tell them that? Nothing like my family. His wife has diabetes. Diabetes? Is that is an excuse, diabetes? Is that your family? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is my room. Oh, yeah. It's terrific. Can I confess something? <laughs> Please don't. I'd be out of there, straight away. I tell you this because as an <laughs> artist, I think you'll understand. All right. When I'm driving, I see two headlights coming toward me. I have this sudden impulse to turn the wheel quickly, head on into the oncoming car. I have that as well. Not as much now, but I used to all the time. I have to go now, Dwayne, because I, I'm due back on the planet Earth. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. 
<laughs> Keep your eye on that wheel. Do you realize how paranoid you are? Looking at you, you got your arms around another guy. And you wanted to keep the relationship flexible. Oh, flexible never works. It's all mental masturbation. Oh, well, now we're finally getting to a subject you know something about. Don't knock masturbation. It's sex with someone I love. <laughs> to think I'm neat. There's no, neat. What are you, 12 years old? That's one of your Chippewa Falls expressions. He's very judgmental, isn't he? You're the one who never wanted to make a real commitment. Yeah. You meet wonderful, interesting professors. The professors are so phony. How can you do it? <laughs> I you think and we David, call this relationship quit. That's fine. That's fine. That's great. Oh, well, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> No, I did, Sean. Does she need some kind of artificial stimulation like, like marijuana? We use a large vibrating egg. <laughs> a large vibrating egg. Oh, it's it have to be large. When my mother took me to see Snow White, I immediately fell for the Wicked Queen. You're always leaning on me to improve myself. You're just upset. <laughs> you must be getting your period. <laughs> I'm starting to get some feeling back in my jaw now. <laughs> That's what you got me here for at 3 o'clock in the morning because there's a spider in the bathroom? I think she knew you were having sex with someone else. Alvy, you're a little hostile, you know that? He always is. Not only that, you look thin and tired. It's because he just had sex. I ran over here, I couldn't get a taxi. I ran up the stairs. Well, yeah, I was a lot more attractive when the evening began. <laughs> I've been killing spiders since I was 30. 30 or 13? Because 30 is a bit too late. Very big spider. Yeah, it's a very yeah, big one. a lot of trouble. <laughs> There's a spider in your bathroom the size of a Buick. Good luck. What is this? You got black soap? Oh, God's sake. If you are split up, you need to be split up. <laughs> Just close the door. We're in the house town. Oh, don't go, okay? Should miss it, yeah. I don't know, I miss you. No. Was there somebody in your room when I called you? I thought I heard a voice. Oh, I had the radio on. Hmm. Oh, God, did he have sex twice in the same night with two different people? That's disgusting. I don't condone that. She's got a very nice voice. Just to have my arms. Is that really her singing or is that someone else's voice? She just snore. Very nice. Hi, I'm I'm Tony Lacey. I knew his name was Tony. He looks like a Tony. Are you recording? Are you, are you with any label now? Oh. No, 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 not at all. Oh, well, I'd like to talk to you about that sometime if you get a chance. Don't be jealous now. It's good for her. We can just sit and talk, nothing. It's just relax, just be very mellow. Remember we had that thing? What thing? Don't you remember we, we discussed that thing that we Sing? were... We, we... Nope, you're lying. Uh, we'll do it another time. Good hey, night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, gang. What thing? What's the matter? What, you, you want to go to that party? I don't know. I thought it might be kind of fun. Yeah. And you shot it down without even asking her what she wanted. Do you have sex often? Hardly ever. Maybe three times a week. Constantly. I'd say three times a week. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Sometimes I think I should just live no. with a woman. Live with a woman. Yeah, we've all thought that once in a while. You never want to try anything new. Uh, I said that you and that girl from your acting class should sleep together in a well, threesome. That's sick. Yeah, I know it's sick, but it's new. <laughs> <laughs> Alvy, come on, for your own experience. I mean, you want to ride? Why it's not? great it's stuff, Al. Peer pressure. Don't do it. Oh, you know something? I didn't tell you. We're going to California next oh, week. That's probably been up someone's ass. While you're in California, could you possibly score some coke for me? Is that the only place you can get it? And what is the kick of it? Which I, I never... <gasps> Oops. If you could just give me something to get me through the next Good. two hours. There's nothing wrong with you, actually, so far okay. as I can tell. That's because he's faking it. I found a replacement, so they're going to tape without you. Now I don't get to do the TV show? Listen, <laughs> right. <laughs> He's fine. Way to tell he's not bad, out. actually. He's a tit, but he's funny. I think he has a little thing for Annie. Goes with that girl over there. Where? Who are they looking at? I can't tell. I just saw the nipples. Well, I used to live there. I used to live there for years, you know. It's gotten, it's so dirty. I can't concentrate. <laughs> My eyes keep wandering. Oh, he's actually speaking to people. I don't think California is bad at all. A lot of beautiful women. It was fun to flirt. What, you were flirting? I'll have the usual trouble with Annie in bed tonight. If only I had the nerve to break up. 
I don't think our relationship is working. Like a shark. It has to constantly move forward or it dies. I think what we got on our hands is a dead shark. Dead shark? That's a good way to think of it. All the books on death and dying are yours. Death and dying, yeah. Remember this is the first oh, book that I got you? God. Yeah, you can keep that. And I'm gonna come out there and get you. No, you won't. Oh, you will. It looks lovely there. I want to live somewhere that's hot all the time. You look very pretty. Oh no, I just lost a little weight, that's all. From all the sex. I've been thinking about it and I think that we should get married. You're a bit late. Do you want to get married or what? No, she doesn't. I want to remain friends. Jack, please. Can I, can I, can You're I... mad, aren't you? He's pissed. Of course I'm mad. But you shouldn't be mad. It was all your fault. So what are you saying? That you're not coming back to New York with me? That's what she's saying. I gotta go. I flew 3,000 miles to see you. She didn't ask you to. Got a lot of records up for awards. Oh, really? They give awards for that kind of music? I put oh. just earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> they do nothing but give out awards. Greatest <laughs> fascist dictator, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> You're gonna go forward. Oh, Here we go. I have a I have a terrific problem with authority. Don't take it personal. Yeah, I was just away to say that's where you're going. What is so incredibly great about New York? Artie, you are totally incapable of enjoying life. If that's all that we've been through together means to you, I guess it's better if we just said goodbye. That's not how it went. Wait, we're gonna go with you. That's not how it went. 21 was my first play. <laughs> I did run into Annie again. We had lunch, just uh, kicked around old times. Aww. Do they get back together? Yes, they do. Yes. If she moved back to New York, it's a good sign. This guy goes to a psychiatrist and says, Doc, my brother's crazy. He thinks he's a chicken. The doctor says, well, why don't you turn him in? And the guy says, I would, but I need the eggs. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much now mm -hmm. how I feel about relationships. Yeah. I guess we keep going through it because uh, most of us need the eggs. Most of us need the eggs. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, is that it? Diane Keaton? Am I supposed to know who that is? Well, um, okay. I don't think I've ever seen a movie like that in my whole life. It was very different. It was interesting. I liked it. I liked it because it was different. I loved how it was very relatable, especially their relationship. And I'm guessing that was Woody Allen. Yeah, it must have been because it came up Woody Allen and Diane Keaton. I think Diane Keaton was the... What was her name again? What the hell was her name? <laughs> Uh, what was her name? It was Annie Hall. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Anywho, my goal in life will be to watch that movie again and understand every word of it. But there's a lot of references in there that I'm never going to get unless someone just tells me. It was good. I enjoyed it. And I quite like Woody Allen. He's very awkward, and, but he's cute. He's a bit of an ass, but I like it. I quite liked how they broke the fourth wall the whole way through it. Usually, when I watch a movie, it's not until I'm editing it that I see things and I'm like, oh, I'm glad I'm watching this again because I'm seeing a lot of things and understanding things that I never saw the first time. This time I'm sitting here thinking just now I'd like to just start it again and watch it again but I think I need your guys comments first and then I'll watch it again and then we'll see where we go from there. So does Woody Allen have more movies and are, if he does are they all like this? And is he a comedian? What does he do? Why is he so famous? Is he so famous or did I just make that up? It's like a weird ass take on a rom-com, a more realistic version. Most romance movies are so fake. It would never happen in real life. Never. But as I was watching this movie, I was like, yeah, that's relatable. That that could happen. That does happen. Very believable. Right, I'm away to go watch more young ones. And if you want to watch too, then you have to subscribe because the YouTube rules now are you're not allowed to watch unless you subscribe. So subscribe. If you like this video, if you enjoyed me being very confused and trying hard to understand what they were saying, then please give it a big thumbs up. I also wouldn't mind if you headed over to Patreon too and had a look over there. There's lots and lots of videos on there already. Also, I think I read in a few comments that this was people's favourite movie of all time. What makes it your favourite movie? I'd like to know. And I'm going to go. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.